Let me start this off by asking you all a question. Where do you think you're going to be exactly two years from now into the future? Just think about that for a moment. Now, based on your answer, how positive are you that you will really end up in that position? You see, according to research conducted by the University of Queensland, our brains are constantly trying to see what's going to happen to us in the future, whether this would be long-term predictions or short-term predictions. Parts of our mind are always thinking about areas in the future. Now, according to Foresight University, which is a professional learning and development company in the analysis of alternative futures, certain areas of our minds are motivated into thinking about the future, and other areas of our minds experience shock or surprise when our personal predictions of the future are wrong. So this brings us to the question of if we are so uncertain of our future, how do we take control of it? Hi, my name is Kimaya Navaratnam, and today, I'm going to teach you how to take control of your seemingly uncontrollable future. Now, I feel that it's important to speak on this topic because so many of us face the fear of the future. And this can come to a wide variety of people and all kinds of age groups. Whether you're a kid worried about if you're going to win a basketball game, or a teenager worried about what grade you got on the test, or an adult worried about if you're going to get the job you want or not. The uncertainty of the future can come in many different forms. For example, tomorrow. You may have an idea of what's going to happen to you tomorrow, but how can you be so sure that everything you planned out is going to occur exactly the way you expect it to? I guarantee that tomorrow something you did not completely expect to happen is going to happen. And this doesn't have to be something big, like getting a surprise bouquet of flowers. It could be something small, like seeing a friend that you haven't seen in a while. This circumstance is quite short-term, though. The more long-term predictions of the future tend to tie in to the changes in our personal preferences as we go through life. For example, when you were three years old, your favorite color could have been pink. And now, your favorite color could be green. This is an example of how a personal preference is yours changed as you went through life. A good way of thinking about changes in personal preference is looking back at our childhood dream jobs. Everybody has had a childhood dream job. Whether this would be being an astronaut, a scientist, a pop star, or a doctor. Did you know that in the US, the most popular dream job amongst kids was becoming a healthcare professional, such as a doctor or a nurse? Yet only 0.29% of Americans are doctors. This shows how, hu how we as humans, our personal preferences change as we go through time. Now, as we look at the long-term changes that can occur in the future, this is where the kind of fear factor of it starts to kind of tie in. Because we don't know if we're going to end up where we want to be. When I was younger, I dreamed of being a scientist. And I, and I told myself, that when I grow up, I'm going to become a scientist, and I'm going to do all these amazing things. And now, I want to be a classical dancer. But I don't know if I'm going to achieve that dream. Even now, as a grade 9 student, I have my own fears with the future, such as going into the higher grades in school, such as grade 10, 11, and 12. Because even now, I struggle to balance my home life and my school life, and I just know that it's going to get harder. And it makes me really, really scared. And I know for a fact that I am not the only one that has these kind of fears. So how do we tackle the fear of the future? A good way that I like to think about this is to think about a roller coaster. Say you're at an amusement park, and there is this massive roller coaster. And it looks so much fun. And you really want to go on it. But you know what? You're too scared. Because you're too worried that when you get on this roller coaster, you're going to fall off, you're going to get hurt, on, it's going to get stuck, all these things are going to happen. So you don't want to go on it. Lo and behold, you decide, you know what, you're going to face your fears, and you're going to go on this roller coaster. And as you're sitting in the seats, and you're inclining up, you are scared out of your mind. Because you have no idea what's going to happen. 
You're shaking. You are terrified. But then you rush down the roller coaster and you're having the absolute time of your life. If you had never chosen to take the path to go on that roller coaster, you never would have experienced that happiness. And this is the same for any kind of future event that you may be scared to take on. For example, you may be someone that enjoys figure skating. You may like to watch it and you want to try it out. But you tell yourself, no, I'm not going to do it because I'm afraid that if I try figure skating, I'm going to not like it, I'm going to get hurt, I'm going to fall down, and all these things are going to happen. But if you don't at least try, you could never know how much you enjoyed it or how good you are at it. As the great Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. So how do we create our future? You can start this off by having a little heart-to-heart -heart with yourself. Examine yourself, your likes, your dislikes, your hobbies, your talents, what you're good at, what you enjoy. If you set a goal for yourself that is something that you know that you will enjoy working towards, it will make you more likely to get to that goal. You also need to define what your priorities are. Money, happiness, a family, to help people, anything at all. Everybody has different priorities, and everyone has a different definition of success. If you can define what success is to you, figure out your priorities, and set a goal that you know that you're passionate about and that you will enjoy, you will be able to get towards your desired future. Now, I'd like to share with you all some tips that I learned from American author Tony Robbins on taking control of our destinies. Now, reality can slip away from us. Not everything in this world is going to go exactly the way that we plan it to. You may have a path on where you want to go for your future. You may have a set goal and you know, okay, I'm going to drive towards this, I'm going to do it. What are you going to do when that path takes a turn? How are you going to adapt to that? You need to figure that out. You need to be open-minded to things like this. Do not fixate your future onto one possibility. There are so many things that can happen, so many different possible outcomes. And you need to look at all of these different outcomes that you can reach. You need to create positive beliefs and have an open mind. If we are close-minded about thinking about our future, and we continue on with that one straight path and say, a tree falls over that path. What are you going to do? Now, I know that throughout the course of my speech, I have constantly been going on and on and on about the importance of the future and how we constantly need to be worrying about it. But we need to remember that the present is just as important as the future and the past. No matter where you are in time, you are always in your present. If you want to strive towards a desirable future, you need to work now in your present. You cannot wait and say, oh, I'll just figure out what I'm going to do later on. If you want to call for change, or if you want to start designing your future, you need to do that now. Now, I'd like to circle everybody back to the question that I asked at the very beginning of my speech. Where do you think you're going to be in exactly two years from now into the future? Has your perspective on this question changed since the last time I asked it to you? Thank you all for taking the time to be here. And remember that no matter what, there's always a way to take control of your seemingly uncontrollable future.